Welcome back to Blitz as we now bring the Towns County Lady Indians tennis team on the show, beginning with head coach Shannon Floyd. Coach Floyd, uh, thank you for stepping aside and taking some time to talk about your team for us. Well, it's my pleasure, Brian. And uh, when I got your email and uh, about uh, interest of the team, I had to chuckle because uh, back when I first coached tennis in the early 90s, my number one tennis player uh, that year for the boys' team's name was Brian Carter, too. <laughs> I, I've had a good time with this, and I'm going to have to look Brian up again. Well, I wish I could say that was me, but I have no tennis talent. But, uh, Coach, I understand you have most of your girls' team here with you. Uh, can we basically have them one by one introduce themselves? Sure. We'll, we'll start with our number one player. All right. I'm Alexa and I play number one singles. I'm Jenny Rose. I play number two singles. I'm Kristen Fuse, and I play number three singles. I'm Jordan Rose, and I play number one doubles. I'm Camille Gass, and I play number two doubles. All right, well, girls, thank you so much for being with us here on Blitz. But, Coach, I'm going to go back to you first. Talk about how special this year has been, pulling off straight uh, 17 straight wins in route to making state, I believe, for a second straight season. How special has this year been? Well, that's correct. It, it's been a special year. We, uh, we opened up the beginning of the season with uh, one of the toughest uh, – teams I consider in North Georgia. I really want to uh, praise uh, Coach Thomas down at Banks County. She's got a fine girls team and uh, uh, they put one on us at the very beginning of the season and uh, and then uh, wins just started rolling off after that and uh, we set some high goals at the beginning of the season that we wanted to win our side of the sub-region and uh, just win after win kept coming and uh, we actually got Banks County later in the year, and uh, we were able to beat Banks County the second time that we played them. And uh, she was missing. I know Coach would probably say she was missing her number one player. It just fell on our day, and uh, we were able to uh, do that and win our first game in the region tournament, which quali qualified us for state, and then came up a little short in a couple of those matches. But uh, it's been a special year. I'm, I'm real close to these girls and my God team as well. Uh, you know, I have Alexa. I've had her. She actually managed for us. Her older brother played tennis for me. So I've had her for five years around. Uh, three of these other girls have played for me all four years. And then uh, Camille came in and played her junior and senior year for us. So, but uh, they work hard, and the results showed. Coach, you briefly mentioned your guys team there. Uh, but before we go back into the girls, because that's where we're mostly going to concentrate, but kind of hit on the season that you had for the guys, and I believe they had a pretty good year as well too, right? They really did. Uh, we, we didn't bring back nearly as many experienced players with the guys. Uh, had a, I had a few seniors who came out and played for their first year, so expectations weren't nearly as high for those guys. Um, but, you know, they showed a lot of, a lot of resilience, and, uh, and they, they, uh, they battled, and we actually beat a couple of teams that uh, not many people gave us a chance of beating. And uh, that was Tallulah Falls and Riverside Military Academy. And we finished number two in Region 8A North. Uh, unfortunately, that matched us up with number three on 8A South, which was George Walton Academy. And uh, those guys were good. I mean, they were really good. And, uh, they, you know, they, that was just an unfortunate draw for our boys. But I was very proud of them, how they hung in there and, and battled all year. Yeah, now, all right, let's go back to your girls' team. Uh, you got a solid, solid senior class. Again, most of them all on the show here right now. Uh, they led the way this year. How tough will it be, do you think, to repeat this success again next year? Well, not, we lose so much experience. I'm losing five out of seven starters, and uh, that is hard to replace in itself. And then, um, but the thing that, that, that excites me is the younger kids that have been around these girls, they know that their work ethic, uh, they've seen that, they've been around it for at least a year or two years, and uh, so in order to repeat, they know that they're going to have to do some of the same things that these young ladies have done for the past four years. And uh, it's going to be difficult, but we're going to give it our best shot. Well, sounds good, Coach. Now, I want to...